good morning students in the previous lecture we have started chapter number 2 that is exponents i have told you how to denote the values with the exponents like if we are having 3 raised to power 2 that means 3 multiplied by 3 if we are having 5 raised to power 0 that means 1 any value raised to power 0 that is equal to 1 any value raised to power minus 1 that will go in the reciprocal 3 raised to power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 3 5 raised to power minus 1 is 1 by 5 okay so in this way we had dis discuss uh, discuss some uh, like formulas and uh, the examples we have discussed in the previous lecture also we have discussed some laws of the exponents that is here are the laws there are six laws that is a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m plus n okay if they are in multiplication and the base is same then the power exponents will be added a raised to power m and b multiplied by b raised to power m now base are different and powers are same now we can write a b raised to power m in the next law is a raised to power m raised to power n so they will go in multiplication a raised to power m multiplied by n fourth one is a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n now they are in division now base is same so exponents will go in subtraction so a raised to power m minus n okay next is a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m now both the base are different and powers are same now we can write a upon b raised to power m common m okay a raised to power 0 any value raised to power 0 it is equal to 1 okay so these laws we have discussed with the examples from my uh, notes i have discussed all the examples with the laws okay and uh, i have given some examples also of this chapter like example number 1 2 Three, four, five. Here you have to implement all these laws, okay, properly, and the, you have to compute the values. Hope you all have done these equations and examples, okay. Then we have started question number one of exercise two point one, okay. We have solved all the parts, okay. Then we have done question number two. Again, we have solved all the parts. Okay, if you are having any doubt, you can repeat. You can see the video once again. Okay, where wherever you are getting any problem, you can pause the video and you can again start the video from the step wherever you are facing a problem. Okay, now next question is question number three. That is simplify the following expressions using suitable laws of exponents. Okay, question number a part is ten raised to power minus three raised to power four. now you have to tell you have to compute the value by uh, putting the suitable laws okay now this is your a part so here we are going to use by using c the question any value raised to power something and raised to power again something is given okay so which law we can use here we are using here a raised to power m raised to power n okay that is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n okay so i am going to put the law here okay so this power and this power will go in multiplication okay like the in we are doing in the law okay so 10 raised to power minus 3 multiply by 4 that is equal to 10 raised to power minus 12 3 4 0 12 and minus n will be as it is so this is your answer very simple okay now second b part is 5 raised to power minus 8 multiply by 5 raised to power minus 10 Multiply by five raised to power minus five. Now look here. Now here the base is same, and powers are different. So we are using the law a raised to power m multiply by a raised to power n. Okay, because base is same, powers are different. So when they are in multiply and base is same, we have to add the powers. Okay, so therefore answer is a raised to power m plus n. So I'm going to put this law here. Add five raised to power minus eight into five raised to power minus ten into five raised to power minus five. Okay, so I'm going to write five one time. Okay, now all the powers are in minus. Okay, here we are doing plus. All the powers are in minus, so plus sign will remove and all will come in minus minus minus. This thing you know very well. 
okay because plus is there and all the powers are minus so we'll put here minus sign plus sign will remove okay so minus 8 minus 10 minus 5 we have to do addition of all these three numbers okay by adding these answer will be 23 and sign will be minus we will add these numbers but sign will be minus okay so 5 raised to minus 3 minus 23 that is your answer got it this is your b part now c part is minus 8 raised to power minus 2 raised to power minus 6 multiply by minus 8 raised to power minus 4 so here we have to use two laws okay see first of all i have uh, i have written here like for this first value we'll put this law because this is any value raised to power something and raised to power again something is given okay so we'll put which law the the law which we have put in a, a part okay a raised to power m raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n okay now come here so i'm going to solve this uh, this bracket first of all okay that i have marked this will be as it is i have to put the low here first of all so minus 8 raised to power minus 2 and minus 6 so that will go in multiplication okay so minus 8 will be as it is now when we'll do multiply answer will be 6 2 is a 12 but both are minus minus when we'll do multiply and both sign are minus then they will go then both sign will become plus okay when we'll do subtraction or addition okay so when we'll add these value sign will be uh, sign mi minus sign will be here okay but during the multiplication that minus sign will remove minus minus will become plus 2 6 is 12 okay and multiply by minus 8 raised to power minus 4 as it is that i have written here that is as it is we are going to solve this thing first of all okay now now for this base is same minus 8 minus 8 powers are different again we are using this law a raised to power m multiply by a raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m plus n okay minus 8 we'll write one time and powers 12 here is plus but my, this is minus 4 so plus sign will remove and what will come minus 4 will come here okay so 12 minus 4 is 8 okay bigger value is 12 so sign will be of bigger value plus okay this is minus 8 raised to power 8 this is your answer wherever you are using the law you have to highlight that law which law you are using okay you have to mention the law then you have to start the question without this you cannot get the full marks okay now next one is d part 5 raised to power minus 4 multiply by 12 raised to power minus 4 okay now here base is different both base are different and powers are same so which law we are using here by using a raised to power m multiply by b raised to power m it is equal to a b raised to power m a b and one time will write here m okay so 5 raised to power minus 4 into 12 raised to power minus 4 we have to multiply 5 into 12 and in the bracket uh, sorry outside the bracket we'll write here power one time minus 4 okay so 12 5 sir 60 raised to power minus 4 that is your answer okay now e part is 3 raised to power minus 4 raised to power minus 2 divided by 3 raised to power 9 again we have to use here two laws first of all we have to solve this it is any value raised to power something raised to power something so which law a raised to power m raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n okay so 3 raised to power minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 we have to multiply both and divide it by 3 raised to power 9 this will be as it is okay now what uh, what will the answer of this minus 4 multiply minus 2 4 2 is 8 and when we'll multiply two values both are having the negative sign that negative negative will become positive the same thing i have told you earlier in the previous part okay so 3 raised to power 8 divided by 3 raised to power 9 now base is same power is different and here is division sign so what which law we will use here a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m minus n 
okay when powers are different base is same and we are having in between division sign then in the exponent what will which sign will come here subtraction okay so 3 raised to power 8 minus 9 will do subtraction here because both values are plus plus okay so we'll uh, in between we'll put here subtraction sign okay so 8 minus 9 is minus 1 so you know very well any number raised to power minus 1 that is equal to reciprocal 1 upon 3 you can write your answer up to here also or up to here also okay both are same last is your f part 6 raised to power x multiply 6 raised to power y multiply 6 raised to power 2 now this is equal to 6 raised to power x okay so so in this this question here base is same and powers are different so we are using here a raised to power m multiply a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n if base are same powers are different both the laws are same but in between we are having division in between we are having multiplication so in division we have to put here minus in multiplication we have to put here plus okay now i am going to write base one time six and i am going to write here x plus y plus two okay now this we cannot further uh, compute these values okay both are variables one is constant so answer will be x plus y plus 2 and this is the complete answer 6 raised to power x plus y plus 2 got it this is your question number 3 i have solved all the parts wherever you are facing the doubt wherever you are facing the problem you can pause the video and you can repeat that from that step you can repeat the video once again okay okay students now i'm going to start the next question that is question number 4 Evaluate the following algebraic expressions using suitable laws of exponents. Again, you have to apply all the laws, okay, in the questions and solve the uh, statements. Now, this is your first question. 3a square b raised to power minus 5 multiplied by 6a minus 20, uh, 6a raised to power minus 20, b raised to power 3. So, now check in the statement what are the constant and what are the variables. You have to write down variables in one bracket and constant in one bracket. Okay. When you have you are solving the question, you have to start like this. So I'm going to write 3 and 6. Both are constant value. I'm going to write this 3 multiplied by 6 in one bracket. Now a and this a both are same variable. So I'm going to write this in one bracket. Okay. And this b, both b variables, I'm going to write in this bracket. And in between multiplier sign will come okay got it constant in one bracket same variable in one bracket another same variable in another bracket okay now 3 6 is 18 and here we'll apply which law this one a raised to power m multiply a raised to power n it is equal to a raised to power m plus n okay write down here a one time and powers will be added here minus sign is there so plus sign will remove and minus sign will come okay and here minus 5 as it is and here <clears throat> this is plus value so plus 3 will come okay after computing this 18 will be here multiply by 2 minus 20 minus 18 minus 5 plus 3 minus 2 okay so i'm going to remove this multiply sign okay i'm writing here 18 a raised to power minus 18 b raised to power minus 2 this is your answer clear now next is b part so in b part this is your statement minus 7 k h raised to power 9 multiply by k raised to power minus 7 raised to power 2 h raised to power minus 2 okay so first of all i am going to solve this bracket that's why i have uh, marked this bracket okay now write down this in this way minus 7 this 9 raised to power 9 is for every every value whether it's constant whether it's variable okay so minus 7 raised to power 9 k raised to power 9 h raised to power 9 this 9 you have to write on every value okay now this okay here i'm going to apply a law okay 
because value uh, here is a value and here raised to power and then again raised to power so this law will apply okay we'll apply this one law a raised to power m raised to power n it is equal to a raised to power n multiply by n okay so this is your first bracket now this is your this okay k minus 7 multiply by 2 okay multiply by h raised to power minus 2 as it is minus 7 raised to power 9 multiply by k raised to power 9 multiply by h raised to power 9 multiply by k raised to power 7 2 is 14 and minus sign will be here multiply by h raised to power minus 2 okay now up to here it is solved now minus 7 raised to power 9 will be as it is now look here you have to write same variables in one bracket and another same variable in one bracket like we have done here okay now this k raised to power 9 and multiply by k raised to power minus 14 again we'll apply this law okay now k raised to power 9 and here in the law plus sign is there but the value is minus so minus sign will come okay another h raised to power 9 minus 2 because this value is of minus okay now minus 7 raised to power 9 okay multiply by uh, after solving it 14 minus 9 5 and sign will be of minus multiply by h 9 minus 2 7 okay now remove the multiply sign or you can write up to here also up to here also answer is correct now you can remove this multiply sign answer will be correct okay c part is 4p square multiply by 2p 2q minus 3 raised to power minus 3 r raised to power minus 6 in the uh, and the whole bracket minus 3 okay here you you can check that raised to power is given again raised to power is given okay so you can apply this law a raised to power m raised to power n it is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n okay so 4 multiplied by 2 i am going to write the constant value first of all in one bracket and then p square and raised to power minus 3 because i told you in the previous question that if in the whole bracket outside the whole bracket any uh, like power is given that power is for every constant and every variable okay 4 into 2 raised to power minus 3 multiply by p square raised to power minus 3 q minus 3 raised to power this minus 3 r minus 6 raised to power this minus 3 4 to the 8 raised to power minus 3 okay In p square raised to power minus 3 it will be equal to 2 3 is a 6 okay you have to multiply the powers okay by this law okay again this same power and uh, this power and this power will get multiply this power this power get multiply okay now compute the values 8 raised to power minus 3 you can write as it is 2 3 is a minus 6 3 3 is a 9 and minus minus will become plus 6 3 is a 18 minus minus will become plus now 8 raised to power minus 3 p raised to power minus 6 q raised to power 9 and a r raised to power 18 is your answer okay so this is your c part now i'm going to start part number d of question number fourth okay this is your question okay now see the statement is 9 ln square divided by 3 l minus uh, raised to power minus 3 m raised to power 7 and whole raised to power minus 3 okay first of all we'll write 9 and 3 separately because these are constant values and others are variables so i'm going to write this separately okay now cancel this 3 3 is a 9 okay multiply by rest uh, the variables i'm writing as it is raised to power minus 3 okay so here is 3 3 will come okay and whole raised to power minus 3 so i'm writing here minus 3 here okay this 3 okay and the raised to power minus 3 and this variables i'm writing separately constant i've written separately and variables i'm writing separately as it is okay 
now i'm going to use a law here okay which law this l and l same and m and m same variables are same powers are different okay so this law will use this law a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m minus n okay now 3 raised to power minus 3 will be as it is this will go as it is okay till your answer okay now you have to compute this variables okay now l this single l means l raised to power 1 okay and this l is minus 3 okay so here you have to put minus sign and this is already minus so 2 minus sign will be there you this minus sign will come from the formula and this minus is of this value okay so 2 minus sign will come okay so l raised to power 1 minus minus 3 multiply by m2 and m7 okay so it will be m raised to power 2 minus 7 okay because in between minus sign will come and whole raised to power minus 3 now compute this this will go as it is uh, constant value l raised to power 1 minus minus 3 become minus minus will become plus to l raised to power 1 plus 3 and this 2 minus 7 is minus 5 so l raised to power 4 multiply by m raised to power minus 5 okay whole raised to power minus 3 now again uh, we are using one low here means any value if raised to power is given and again whole raised to power is given so we are using this this law a raised to power m raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n okay so l raised to power 4 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by m minus 5 multiplied by minus 3 okay this power you have to multiply this power with all these two powers okay so answer will be this constant value raised to power minus 3 okay 4 3 is a minus 12 okay and 5 3 is a 15 minus minus will become plus l raised to power minus 12 into m raised to power 15 this is your answer of the d part okay now next is your e part okay i'm not giving any part for homework okay because all are this concept is very new for you okay here you have to implement every law in the questions that's why i'm solving all the parts okay so now if you are facing any problem i'm saying again and again you have to you have to see the video again if you are facing any problem in the step please pause the video and then repeat that steps again okay this is a this is a good benefit of the online teaching okay wherever you're facing problem in the question in the method in the concept you can pause the video you can repeat the video 10 times 20 times okay till your doubts are not clear okay now this e part is 15 x raised to power 3 multiply by y square raised to power minus 3 20 x raised to power minus 3 raised to power 3 y raised to power 7 whole raised to power minus 2 okay now first of all i'm writing this constant value separately raised to power minus 2 i'm writing here separately and this variables i'm writing separately okay i have cancelled this 5 3 is a 15 5 4 is a 20 raised to power minus 2 okay here this is x value this is x value here this is y this is y okay and this means uh, first of all i'm using here this uh, the low which because power here power is given here again power is given here power is given here again power is given so i'm writing this low first of all a raised to power m raised to power m that is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n you have to multiply these two powers first of all okay and remove the bracket okay now x raised to power 3 as it is because constant values we have written separately okay and y this y raised to power 2 multiplied by minus 3 and this x raised to power minus 3 multiplied by 3 and y raised to power 7 as it is whole raised to power minus 2 as it is okay so now you will get this first constant value as it is now this is variable after multiplication of the powers answer will be x raised to power 3 y raised to power minus 6 x raised to power minus 9 y raised to power 7 whole raised to power minus 2 okay now see now next step is this is x value this is x value this is y this is y okay so this means which law will use here we will use this one law 
a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n that is equal to a raised to power m minus n okay now this constantly as it is multiplied by x raised to power 3 minus minus and because in the formula you have to put minus sign and 9 is already minus so 2 minus sign will come here multiply by y raised to power minus 6 minus 7 and whole raised to power minus 2 after computing this 3 minus minus will become plus 3 plus 9 here minus 6 minus 7 as it is this is constant value we will write here uh, write this value as it is 3 plus 9 will become 12 x raised to power 12 multiplied by minus 6 minus 7 will become minus 13 raised to power minus 2 okay now this these are the powers again whole power is given so which law will use here we'll use this one law a raised to power m raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n this is a power this is also power okay so you have to multiply these two powers so now this one constant value will write this constant value as it is multiply by 12 multiplied by minus 2 multiply by y minus 13 multiply by minus 2 okay now next is 3 upon 4 raised to power minus 2 multiply by x raised to power minus 24 multiply by 13 2 is 26 12 2 is 24 here minus sign will come here minus minus will become plus if any one sign will be minus your answer will be in minus during multiplication if both sign are minus so your answer will be plus during multiplication so this complete is your answer okay this is your part number e last part is part number f okay this is your part number f 2p raised to power minus 2 multiply by 4q square raised to power minus 2 now see this equation first of all by looking at the statement you can identify that this one and this one values are different but powers are same so we are going to apply this law a raised to power m into b raised to power m base is different powers are same so it means you have to write a multiply by b and whole bracket this power will write only one time common okay this is the common power now so i'm going to write all these things in one bracket 2p multiply by 4q square raised to power minus 2 clear very simple this question is very simple 2 4 is 8 raised to power minus 2 okay p raised to power minus 2 and q square multiply and so this q square and will get multiplied with this minus 2 it will become minus 4 so your answer will be 8 raised to power minus 2 p raised to power minus 2 q raised to power minus 4 this is your answer this question very very simple just by in the beginning only you have to identify that we will apply which law here okay so this is your fourth question so we have done till fourth question all the parts we have discussed okay